When this cheetah gave birth to a record number of five cubs, it was supposed to be a day of joy. But a surprise made the entire staff gasp and catapulted the zoo into the international spotlight. The team was nervous as they stared at the security camera monitor. The young veterinarians were concerned about the cub's health. It was a significant moment and with a deep breath, the veterinarian prepared to slowly move into the small enclosure, keeping a close eye on the cheetah. The big question on everyone's mind was how Milani would react to the veterinarian's approach. Cheetahs that have just given birth typically respond with defensive behavior. They become very vigilant and protect their newborns by growling, hissing or baring their teeth to deter potential threats. The odds of all the cubs surviving and Milani coming out unharmed were very low because Milani's stomach had been injured during her time in captivity. Although the external wounds had mostly healed, the internal damage remained and it was unclear whether she would be able to give birth to five cubs at once. As the birth approached, the five cubs pushed strongly against her intestines, presenting a dilemma for the research team. They decided not to intervene as the risks of the birth had been carefully considered, but the future of the species rested in the hands of institutions like the Metro Richmond Zoo. In the wild, cheetahs had little chance as the population had declined by over 90% in recent years. It had taken years for Milani's first pregnancy to occur. If she were to abort now, who knew how long it would take for the next one? After many long sessions, the team decided it was worth the risk and they would remain vigilant to intervene if necessary. With each passing week of the pregnancy, it became increasingly dangerous. Milani was moved to a smaller enclosure and received 24 7 care, surrounded by state-of-the-art equipment. The researchers were forced to assess the situation from a distance and they could see that Milani was visibly weakening. Sometimes she refused to eat and became aggressive towards people. One day, while a zoo staff member was feeding her, she attacked him, clawing at the fence and causing the man to stumble back. The mounting pressure and stress took a toll on both Milani and the staff. This had never happened before, and there was a constant fear that she might attack another staff member at any moment. She was now classified as a high-risk animal and had to be handled with extreme caution. The zookeepers feared that she might never recover from her traumatic time in Namibia. Milani's nervousness intensified as her due date approached. Round-the-clock surveillance was in full swing to be ready for any moment. Days before the birth, a small enclosure was built for Milani, adjacent to her familiar area. Initially, she was confused by the new space, but she quickly got used to it. At 4 o'clock in the morning the next day, when it was still pitch dark and silent outside, Milani felt the contractions coursing through her body. She crept into the box, which the team monitored through a live camera in case something went wrong. Milani struggled at first to get up and sit comfortably. No matter how hard she tried to find a comfortable position, she showed impatience. The contractions were getting closer and Milani was in intense pain. A tiny boy fell out behind her, squirming but barely conscious. The world's sensations filled his eyes and ears as he wrestled with his new body's movements. The control room erupted in joy, but it was quickly dampened by the realization that only one-fifth of the ordeal was over. Half an hour later, a second baby popped out of Milani. The intervals between births grew longer and the mother grew tired. It was the beginning of a demanding time, but the research team was ready to support Milani and her offspring. It was dark when she had the first contractions and crawled into the enclosure. As the third cub appeared, the sunlight illuminated the bodies of the tiny creations, which were slowly under the team's watchful eye. Milani saved the last of her energy to carefully examine, lick and nudge each cub to ensure they were healthy. When the last cub came into the light, the staff cheered. What they didn't know was that this final moment would make them scream. Now came the most difficult and crucial part, the moment of truth. A veterinarian was on his way to the enclosure to check on the cubs. The chosen veterinarian already had a good relationship with Milani, but he was a young man with limited experience. Waves of fear washed over him as he timidly entered the enclosure, wondering how Milani would react to his approach. Would she go into defense mode and attack? The young man looked into Milani's eyes and certainty filled the air. It was the young veterinarian's first encounter so close to a cheetah, let alone a female cheetah who had just given birth. This experience was a stark contrast to the remote feeding and he was nervous. The rest of the team huddled around the security camera monitor, fearing for their colleague. With a deep breath, the veterinarian prepared himself and moved slowly into the small enclosure. His eyes were fixed on the cheetah and he recalled how Milani had attacked a zookeeper weeks ago. It was unpredictable how she would react to an intruder coming close to her newborn cubs. 
Surprisingly, Milani kept a watchful eye on the unfamiliar intruder, but then she showed her five cubs snuggling under her, seemingly understanding why the veterinarian was there. She opened up and allowed the veterinarian to inspect the cubs. With relief, the veterinarian took a deep breath and started his work, beginning by examining Milani. She appeared unharmed, just exhausted. With gloved hands, he carefully picked up each cub, using them to conduct some important tests. He gathered all the data he needed, then the veterinarian hurriedly packed his bag and took the samples back to the lab. Already he could tell that things were not looking good. The fifth cub seemed to have an unhealthy weight and its head was larger than usual, making its body appear tiny. The results confirmed that the youngest cub had a birth defect. Time was critical and the team had to act fast. Before they had time to act, the condition of the cub worsened. It was struggling to breathe. The young veterinarian rushed into the enclosure and had no time to ask Milani for permission. Thankfully, she was resting in a deep sleep. After her ordeal, he took the cub and brought it to a medical tent nearby. He called out to the other staff members to take resuscitation measures. Injections and a defibrillator were used, but unfortunately every attempt failed. The little cub was barely alive and there was no way to improve its condition. The control room fell silent. With heavy hearts, the decision was made to euthanize the cub to prevent further suffering. Milani sensed that something was wrong, but she was too weak to react. She seemed to accept her loss. The good news was that the other four cubs were incredibly healthy. The veterinarian intervened from time to time, offering bottle-fed milk to ensure all the cubs received enough nutrients. After over seven years, Milani finally warmed up to her zookeepers and became less aggressive. The animal caretakers were grateful for Milani's positive response and still in awe of the miracles she had accomplished. But what the introverted cheetah had planned next would simply blow them away, and not just them, but Milani would also make international headlines. Two years later, during an especially hot summer, lightning struck for the second time. Milani was pregnant again, much to the delight of the zookeepers, but this time things were different. Milani was one of three pregnant cheetahs at the zoo who all got pregnant at the same time. This created chaos for the already understaffed zoo personnel. They had to manage three pregnancies at once, set up three separate enclosures, and prepare for potentially more than 10 cubs. The former junior veterinarian who had helped Milani was now leading one of the two teams, overseeing monitoring, health checks, and assisting during the births for two weeks. He had little free time and was often seen sleeping at the zoo, but he was dedicated and resources were limited. There was no room for mistakes. He was the one who entered the enclosures and conducted tests that would provide insight into the situation. Tragically, the story repeated not just once, but with two cubs. Both of them suffered from similar breathing issues. With feelings of guilt and desperation, the team found solace in knowing that they were doing their best and achieved an overwhelming success across the three pregnancies in just 11 days. Between March and April, all three pregnancies were completed, resulting in a total of 13 cubs being born. Milani gave birth to five cubs. Considering that the cheetah population was critically endangered with only 7,500 animals remaining in the wild, the addition of these 13 cubs was a significant victory, 